Hi guys, welcome to Nine's Corner on this beautiful, glorious Sunday. It is so warm here, it's a sin. So I thought we need to do our weekly pick a card to see how our week's gonna go, what advice should we take. I'm gonna put in a little bonus of George Reeves and what was, what was the real reason for his passing? Was it suicide or was it murder? <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna do that at the end. And first up, we're gonna have a look at Monsieur Trump because he decided he's gonna sue everybody and their dog. And I wanna know why, what's the reason? I mean, I think we kinda already know, but Let's look into the reasoning why, what's the benefit and what would be the future of it? What's, you know, because, okay, we see Donald Trump Jr. And in one episode on the news, he looks like he's completely gone out of his mind. And then he did a read, he did a reading. <gasps> um, then he did another in which he scarily sound it almost logical the way that he was talking and I could like I mean I don't agree with him but I could understand why people in the Trump camp would believe in him so you know they are really trying to push the narrative of Trump coming back they are really ensuring that those who are in the Republican Party stick with Trump and I still think just like in our reading that Donald Trump Jr. might be playing with the idea of running for president if Trump doesn't. I really believe that's a possibility. So, anywho, let's, one, one huge problem at a time. Let's have a look and see what is the purpose behind Donald Trump's suing and what will become of it. <laughs> Ooh, I got two cards. Okay. First out, we've got the Page of Wands. So it's all about throwing and seeing what can stick to the wall. This is trying to create a narrative so that people feel that, yes, Trump is still in power. Yes, Trump is the one that tells the truth. So this is all just to get people's support, public support behind him. Here, the whole purpose is to cause delay, to cause more paperwork, just to cause a lot more kerfuffle because there's only so much that they can deal with and still deal with running the country and you know around the world things are really going they're getting scary and without the u.s participation it could get really nasty so i think they're trying to bide their time and in hoping that russia and china will do their part to cause as much stress and strain around the world because you can see that's what's happening but then I flipped two cards. So we've got the Eight of Swords here. So Trump is definitely feeling the oppression of the situation. He's definitely feeling the pain of it, but he's still, even this man is just unbelievable. He's still blind. He's still, like I said, he's that person that can manifest and it doesn't matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent because he only sees what he wants to see. But we do have the Page of Cups here. So I think with the Page of Cups coming right after our Seven, or our seven of Pentacles, I think there's gonna be paperwork, information, legal work, something about his health, something about um, paperwork. Because even here, I can almost see that Yes, Trump is going to cause a little kerfuffle. It's, it's a delayed tactic. And although I think it will be shut down, he's going to be pushed out. It's going to be, you know, no. It's going to, for whatever reason, something's going to come out, paperwork, something is going to happen where they're going to say, hey, you know, um, Trump can cause another delay by doing this. You know, that, it's like, even though it's not going to work out for him, it's not going to dissuade him from continuing on and doing what needs to be done. Like, all right, let's put all these cards back and let's have a look and see what does your walk, what does your walk, what does your week look like and what advice can we take? Okay, that's the first card. We're going to go with number one. 
number one, number two, or number three. So pick a card. Do you want one, two, or three? All right, so if you chose number one, you got the 10 of cups. This is not a bad card to have. This means you have happy family relations, but they're only as happy as what you reflect them to be. So this is all also telling you to trust more. Rely on those that are around you. If you've got family and friends that are there to help you, they're willing to help and let them. This is really about letting go and letting the universe or the people around you to make life a little easier. And when you are being good to yourself, that is reflected in your relationships around you. So although this is a great family card, it's also a card of saying that in order for you to have this, you must reflect good in you. You must reflect health and love within yourself. So trust more. If you chose card number two, you got the Knight of Wands. Action is about to start. Things are about to get going. This is all about relieving tensions, whatever they should be, in some aspect of your life, be it financial or in relationships or in whatever aspect you've been having tensions. You just felt like things aren't working out. Somehow, some way, you're going to figure it out. There's going to be this plan that's going to come to you and you're just going to go, oh, I should have done that from the very beginning. So if you're worried about things, if there's something that's really causing a lot of tension, don't give it too much focus because you're going to figure out a way around it. So this is all about With this card. You want to let go and let God, <laughs> let the universe kind of give you a different way of looking at it and a different way of being able to do it. And you'll figure it out. If you chose card number three, you've got the lovers. So this would mean that for anybody who chose number three, there's something from your past more than likely in a relationship doesn't have to be a love relationship could be a friendship could be brother sister mother daughter but for you something from the past is going to end up coming up again it's like something that has not been settled or put to bed is going to come up and you're going to have to re-explain again so for you sometimes things in life are unavoidable you just have to you know go through them there's no getting around them and there's something in your past, something that keeps coming back and having to be dealt with. This is a time for you to make the decision, say, you know what, I'm just going to deal with this finally and let the chips fall where they may. Because if you do that, the chips will fall, but you will be okay. George Kiefer Brewster, also known as George Reeves, was born on January 5th, 1914 in Woolstock, Iowa best known as Superman in the early 50s. On June 16, 1959, he died from a gunshot wound at 45 years old. There the controversy lies. The official story is suicide, but those around him and in Hollywood do not believe that that is the true story. Allegedly, George Reeves was having an affair with Tony Mannix, whose husband, Eddie Mannix, was the vice president of MGM. Due to Eddie's ties, to the mafia and the affair with his wife, they're suggested that he might have put a hit job. It is also suggested that he was accidentally shot by his then fiance, Lenore Lemon, who was having an impromptu party the night of his death. George had come down to complain about the noise and ended up staying and spending time with the company. He had been depressed that night and going back to his bedroom when they heard the shot. So let's use the tarot cards to see what the energy of George Reeves was the days before, during, and after his death. So leading up to his death, the first card out, we have the Ace of Swords. So here you're looking at some kind of correspondence, something that he had heard about, probably about work, because he was pretty despondent about the fact that he wasn't getting as much work as he thought he deserved, and he just felt like he wanted recognition because right after this, we have the queen of pentacles. Here's, here's the insecurity with his foundation of his work. He's worried about not being able to have enough money to provide. And I think this also shows that he was unhappy with his current situation with his fiance, because we end up with the four of pentacles. With the four of pentacles, this is wanting success at any cost. And 
because he couldn't attain the success that he wanted, this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So let's look at the time, the energy that was around his death. Okay, with the two of wands, this is really weighing out a situation, trying to figure out which way should I go. There's a want to try to figure out how do I get through this? But whatever decision is made will cause immediate regret. Here we've got the sun, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow. He couldn't see that because here's temperance. The unbalancing of his thoughts, just not being able to see that if he weighed it, things would turn around again. This is so, all these cards so far are very internal towards him. I'm not seeing other people being involved in his actual death. Afterwards. Okay, so after his death, we have the Eight of Cups walking away from that what you built up moving into a new direction. So the Eight of Cups is walking away. The Empress, there was so much emotion and feelings. There was no common sense. This was done in reaction of an emotional response and feeling overtook the intellect, which led to the Ten of Swords. He has, let me just look at this card. He has such regret for giving up the gift of life, but in a weird way, this experience has taught him lessons that he needed to learn and that he wouldn't have been able to understand through any other way. With the Ten of Swords, the advice for us is to accept now, have faith in now, have faith in the future, Accept what could be and what you might want in those times when you feel like everything and everybody is after you. Everything looks like it's just falling apart and everybody's got their swords out for you. Or all these birds of just disdain and gossip and God knows what else when you just feel like nobody's listening, just like George. George could not see that if he just waited, things would turn around. So. His message to us is, look, find alternatives. Realize that during the hardest times of your life, that's when the universe can take over and help you through. It's a matter of having faith and believing. So this poor soul, in my opinion, based on these tarot cards for entertainment purposes only, this was of his own doing. I'm sure there was you know, circumstances that may have made this situation look like something else was possible. And I'm sure he probably was, he was having an affair. Um, but the cards show an emotional disturbance and life sometimes can be stranger than fiction, right? So God bless George, rest in peace. As always, my dear friends, I thank you for your time. And I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and until the next time, cheerio.